The first decision that you're going to have to make is between cloud versus local deployment. And what this question boils down to is where should you run your processes? The cloud is referring to the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud, which is a hosted runtime. And local is the lightweight Java runtime that you download and install on a machine within your network. Remember, the Boomi Atom Cloud is separate from the platform itself. So we will look at the Boomi Atom Cloud first, and then a local deployment secondly, and then finally a few slides for comparison. Boomi maintains and runs three cloud runtimes, the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud, the EU Atom Cloud, and the Test Atom Cloud. The cloud atoms are elastic and scalable and can host your runtime processes. Boomi's clouds are a multi-tenant, which simply means this is multi-customer. So it's a multi-tenant platform uh, with individual processes. Each have their own managed limits to resources and configurations. So that means every time you execute a process on the cloud, your process and execution is completely separate from other processes with its own set of resources allocated to it. You can use each Dell Boomi Atom Cloud to process up to one gigabyte of volume per month at no charge. Additional charges may apply if you exceed that limit. So why do people select the Atom Cloud? Well, one of the primary reasons is to reduce the IT infrastructure and footprint that's associated with the maintenance of a server environment. This is in terms of hardware and software and people. With the cloud, you get an elastic, scalable runtime environment, so you don't have to set up and maintain servers and resources and have techs on hand to manage all this technology. Rather, it allows the company to focus resources on core business strengths. There are some limitations of the Boomi Atom Cloud. Probably the biggest one is that Boomi Atom Cloud cannot be used to access on-premise applications or systems and the Atom Cloud does not support IP tunneling into your secured applications. Secondly, it's worth repeating that accounts can use each Boomi Atom Cloud to process up to one gigabyte of data of volume per month at no charge, but beyond that you will be charged if you exceed that limit. Every account has the same server and JVM configuration. The maximum number of parallel threads is 10, and each account is limited to running 50 simultaneous process executions in the production Atom Cloud. So a nice summary slide about the Atom Cloud, a few of the pros here, there's no setup or management of the servers, which is a big deal, obviously. It is elastic and scalable to your business needs. There are four nines of availability, 99.99 uptime, and these resources are managed for you. Boomi handles the updates and refreshes of the servers and runtimes, and application and server upgrades performed during maintenance windows are published by Dell Boomi. Data is stored in the Dell Boomi data center, and this is accessible only by the given tenant, and that data center is SAS 70 Type 2 HIPAA PCI Level 1 compliant. A few of the drawbacks we mentioned, uh, one of the biggest considerations is that it can't access local resources. This could be like the file read-write, maybe a local database or some kind of behind the firewall system. Uh, governance limits and fixed resource allocations, which could impact scalability. And finally, runtime configuration options cannot be customized by the customers. Now let's take a look at a local runtime deployment in general. A local deployment is a JVM dedicated to running deployed Boomi processes. It runs on your managed server in your environment and can be configured by you. And we'll discuss this in more detail in a later module. One really great feature is that most changes can be managed remotely through the Atomsphere platform, so there is no need for you to be on-site to make changes. And this is the big difference between cloud and local. The local deployment has access to local resources where the cloud cannot get, and yet the local does not sacrifice any functionality because it too can connect to any cloud endpoint. So a local deployment is either an Atom, which is a single JVM, a molecule, which is uh, multiple clustered nodes or multiple clustered JVMs, or it can be a private Atom cloud, which is a cloud-based molecule. This illustration shows a local deployment. 
The runtime is the blue atom symbol and it resides on premise behind the firewall, allowing all the data moved to remain within your own data center. You can also integrate with cloud APIs and online applications directly using a local deployment. The data never goes to the Boomi platform or cloud. It's processed in the local runtime and only metadata about the execution. That would be information like how many documents were run through, how long it took, or any error messages. Only that kind of metadata gets communicated back to the platform so it can display in process reporting. But all documents and data stay with the runtime. So the main motivations for choosing a local deployment are that you can have local endpoint access. Uh, perhaps you have the need to have control on the infrastructure due to compliance issues within your organization. Or perhaps you have a need for high availability and throughput which may not be met with the Dell Atom Cloud. Or you might need to run configurations which need custom libraries. So here's a summary on local deployments. Some of the pros are that you have access to local resources while also retaining access to cloud endpoints as well. You have control over tuning and resources and configuration. And you have configuration options for high availability and high throughput. It is scalable and a shareable integration resource. Some of the cons are that you must procure, set up, and manage your own servers. Uh, also, that high availability option may require some higher skills to set up and manage. And you will be responsible to manage server upgrades during release maintenance windows. So let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison here. We've hit on this several times already, but one big difference is accessibility. In the cloud, you can connect to any publicly accessible application or data store. With a local deployment, you can connect to any publicly accessible endpoint as well as endpoints within the local network. So if you need to connect to local endpoints and they are not externally accessible, a local deployment is the only option for you. The cloud, like we said, does not support VPN tunneling into your local environment. Security is another distinction. In the cloud, the data is stored in Del Boomi's data center, and this is accessible only by that given customer. And the data center itself is SAS 70 Type 2, HIPAA, and PCI Level 1 compliant, as we mentioned. In a local deployment, the data is stored only within your local network, and so security rests on the local network administrators. Although the cloud is secure, sometimes corporate policies might require a local deployment and so it's important to understand that security then rests on the local administrators. The scheduled maintenance differs as well. In the cloud, application and server upgrades are performed by Dell Boomi during release maintenance windows. In a local deployment, application upgrades can be performed at any time within two weeks of Dell Boomi's scheduled release. and Server upgrades can be performed any time by the system administrators. The way that you can configure your data volume is different. In the cloud, there is a set maximum number of parallel threads and simultaneous executions. In a local deployment, the server and JVM specifications can be customized. So there's no limit on the number of parallel threads, executions, or data volume that you can process. Another significant difference is the infrastructure management. Within the cloud, the runtime environment and the infrastructure is managed by the Dell Boomi Data Center operations team. If you are deployed locally, you install, manage, and monitor and support the runtime environment yourself. You should also consider disaster recovery options, clustering setup and network storage, as well as firewall and proxy load balancer configuration. The level of sophistication of the local environment will increase with the data volume, the availability and performance requirements, and how critical the integrations are. To some, that management investment might be too steep and you prefer Dell to manage the environment. Others already have a robust IT staff in place, and so installing, managing, and supporting this infrastructure is just another day at the office. And lastly, here are some miscellaneous considerations. If you need to make use of any custom libraries for scripting, that is available to you only in a local deployment. If you need to make use of local directories for temp data, that also is mostly only available in a local deployment. The cloud has very limited access to local directories. 
The character encoding in the cloud is UTF-8. Uh, in the local deployment, it is any encoding supported by Java. And finally, the maximum process execution duration is 24 hours in the cloud, whereas on local, there is no limit to how long that process can be running.